So in this video, we're going for logarithmic property and we have certain properties here. Log of 1 to the base a is 0. Log of a to the base a is equal to 1. And if we have m to the power n to the base a, we can write n log of m to the base a. If we have product, then we can write addition. And if we have division, we can write subtraction. And 1 by m, we can write as minus of log of m to the base a. We can change the base. Log of b to the base a can be written as 1 upon log of a to the base b and b is, we can have common base of c and we can write b and a here similarly log of a to the base b equal to log of b into base a is always equals to 1 so based on these simple properties we are given here this equation and you have to find out the value of x so let's say since all these terms are constant we can write this term as log of a divided by b minus c equals to log of b divided by c minus a equal to log of c divided by a minus b equal to certain constant k and therefore we can solve for log of a so we have log of a equal to k multiplied by b minus c similarly log of b is equal to k into c minus a and log of c is equal to k into a minus b. Now we are given the right hand side and we know the value of a, b, c in terms of logs. So if we take the log of the given expression, that is this expression, we get log of x equal to a, a into log of a, similarly b into log of b plus c into log of c. So we'll just substitute all this value for log a, log b and log c. So we have a into k into b minus c plus b into k into c minus a plus c into k into a minus b. Now you can expand this value and you can confirm this value equal to 0. So log of x is 0. It means that log of x must equal to 1 that is log of 1 because log of 1 is 0 to any base hence we conclude x equal to 1 in this equation we have given the log of bc to the base a log of ca to the base b is equal to y log of ab to the base c is equal to z and you have to find out 1 upon x plus 1 plus 1 upon y plus 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 so what we do in this one, we, have, we know the value of x, y and z, so we will substitute this value on the right hand side, that is the given expression. So once we substitute, we are able to solve it and instead of 1, we can write as log of a to the power, a to the base a or b to the base b or c to the base c. So right hand side equals to 1 upon x we are replaced as using this term, that is log of bc to the base a plus 1 and now this one we can replace later on as log of a to the base a plus 1 upon y is replaced as log of c a to the base b plus 1 this one we will replace as log of b to the base b third term is 1 upon log of a b to the base c plus 1 so all this one will replace at the same term as a base in that denominator because log of a to the base a equal to 1. So we have 1 upon log bc to the base a plus log of a to the base a plus what is the advantage that base is same we can add multiply it 1 upon log c a to the base b plus log of b to the base b plus 1 upon log of a b to the base c plus log of c to the base c now due to this this term will become 1 upon log of a b c to the base a plus 1 upon log of a b c to the base b plus 
1 upon log of abc to the base c now here we use this property we can exchange the base so using this property we get log of a to the base abc plus log of b to the abc plus log of c to the base abc all bases are same so this is simply the product of abc so we have log of abc to the base abc that equals to 1 find this equation so we have log of 10 to the base 10 is 1 log of 10 square to the base 10 is 2 so we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 likewise we have n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n so what we do here 1 plus 1 into last term that is n plus 1 2 and n minus 1 will also generate n plus 1 3 and n minus 2 will generate n plus 1 so there are n plus 1 times n by 2 number of steps so num number of times this term is repeated so our solution is n plus 1 into n by 2 that is choice c is correct we are given a log of x to the base 10 minus log of x to the power 1 by 3 to the base 10 is equal to 6 log of x to the base 10 you have to find out x value 10 to the base x to the base 10 is x upon x to the power 1 by 3 equal to 6 divided by log of x to the base 10 so what we have done we have changed the base using property number 7 so we'll get log of x by x by 3 on the right hand side we'll get 6 log of 6 divided by log of x to the base 10 on the left hand side we'll get log of x to the power 2 by 3 to the base 10 equal to 6 divided by log of x to the base 10 now this 2 by 3 we can write as 2 by 3 multiplied by log of x to the base 10 into log of x to the base 10 equal to 6 now 2 by 3 will be multiplied to 6 so 3 6 into 3 is 18 divided by 2 is 9 so we'll get log of x into x is x square and this side is 6 into 3 divided by 2 that is 9 so we'll get log of this is basically log of x to the base 10 whole square is equal to 6 into 3 by 2 that equal to 9 so what we get is log of x to the base 10 equal to plus minus 3 because of under root sign and hence x is equals to 10 to the power plus minus 3 in that case our choice d is correct choice